Hello and welcome to another episode of BZG's Talking Shit. My name is Barrett Courtney, as always, I am your host, and here today, joined with me, is one of my great co-hosts and even better friends, the bisexist from Texas, Henry Montiero. What's up, Henry? Getting on up. <laughs> yeah? Is what you got? Yeah. No Toy Story reference today? Somebody's poison. <laughs> You're my favorite deputy. <laughs> You're my favorite water hole. That sounds dirty. <laughs> if you don't know what we do here at Talking Shit, one of us brings in a topic of discussion, and then we talk some shit about that topic, and today the topic comes from myself. Now, recently, I've been, I've been thinking about this a little bit. The last movie I saw in theaters was The Martian. Yes. Same here, I think. And I was thinking about this because I went to go see the movie, not at like one of those big theaters, not Daily City, not Van Ness or Metreon. I went to the, the little Balboa Theater on Balboa. And oh, where is it? <laughs> on Balboa. Oh! And it's like this nice, cute little place. And I, I was starting to think, like, what do you, like, what's your like, ritual for going to a movie theater? Do you find yourself, like, every time you go to a theater, like, do you always buy popcorn? And, like, where do you like to sit in, like, the theater? Um, this is, like, how I want to start the topic out. It's going to go to something a little different later on, but this is just... I wanted to start it off, like, nice little, like, what, what do you like to do when, you like, at, when you're at the movie theater? Like, one of those weird conversations where you're like, how did this come up? <laughs> uh, so, here's the weird thing. Whenever I go see a movie, mm. my dad loves to sit near the front. Ugh. I have no idea why. Your dad's doing it wrong. <laughs> but he's... You're doing it wrong, sir. But it's always like when it first starts like curving up, that's where he likes to sit. Uh, that's okay. That's not like too bad. Yeah, it's not like front row. Yeah, it's not like fucking Where it's front like, row. man, I can see all the pores in <laughs> Tilda Swinton. Yeah, Jesus Christ, yeah. Um, but, uh, so sort of in the front, yeah, front of like the main set, if you're at like a main theater, there's like sort of three different segments. There's like the top and then you got like the main portion of the middle yeah. and then like the front. So like you the guys top are like the where... front row and like the middle. Yeah. Not like the area where it's like when there's old people in the theater and mm. like that's where they sit. Yeah. Old people and people who make out. Yeah. Yep. Or people who make out are in the back, but that's usually where the rowdy teenagers are. Yeah. We're like, boo. Yeah. <laughs> see that? Ha, memes. See that? See that, Johnny? I was funny. I was funny because I did that. Why is everyone looking? <laughs> like, that's where I sat when I was yelling at Fantastic Four. <laughs> but I like to sit, like, somewhere near, like, the middle where it's, like, you get, like, the full view. Yeah. So it's not, like, at a direct angle. It's not angle. too far. It's not too close. Yeah. Got, like, the perfect sounds coming at you. Yeah. Middle is always the best seat. And Whether you're seeing live theater or mo movies. Yeah. Always the best seat is the middle. Seeing plays right at the front is weird. Yeah, it's awful. Yeah. It's really weird. It's re like... Like with the stage, it's like right at the angle where it's like... Your like, head's always... like right there and you're just like, uh, I can't see everything. Yeah. But it's like, so for me, when I get food at a theater, 90% mm. of the time, it's I go there, I get a large popcorn. Yeah. And a drink. Okay. Usually cola. Okay. Yeah. You, you like your Coke. I do. It's a problem. It's a pro you, you think I'm joking and you think we're talking about cocaine. He literally has, like, this really bad problem with Coke. This wasn't his, though. This was me. Yeah. Like, I used to drink four of those a day. Jeez. Uh, or if they get the option, like, how at the Metreon, they've added, like, those things where it's, like, instead of them filling up behind the counter, you go to one of those things. They have, it like, those rare Burger Kings where you, like, press something and it fills it. Yeah. So then I get strawberry Fanta. Mmm. That sounds good. Yeah. They have like cherry, strawberry Coke, which is weird. Like they yeah, have all these Cokes yeah. no one's they ever heard at, of. They have those at Disneyland now. It's so weird. Yeah. Like all those drinks. And it's always like, like the weird ones are always the ones that are, like are the first to go. So if you go in like the wrong time, it's like none of them are available, which is usually what happens for myself. Yeah. I never get those cool flavors, man. The, Just leave them. Just the exception them. for me, for when I go get food, is if I go to the Metreon, because mm. then I get the fries and chicken oh. tenders. Nice. Because it's like, but then I like eat all of those before the trailers are even done. Yeah, that, like we always fucking did that shit. 
Like all the time. It's like we had to pace ourselves. Like you feel like that picture of Homer Simpson when he's eating the popcorn and they all fall into his mouth. <laughs> I should probably have picked a better thing for popcorn than this. Uh, um, all right, cool. Um, yeah, I'm sort of I'm the same when it comes. Kind of oh, the other the exception. Middle. Oh yeah. When I go to the Kabuki, mm. I get Sour Patch Kids. Interesting. Yeah. Why? I don't know. <laughs> like the way you said it's like oh yeah Kabuki is the only place that has Sour Patch Kids they're not but yeah <laughs> but I don't know like I don't remember if they ha- don't have popcorn or it's really bad popcorn I think their po- popcorn is pretty bad still not as bad as the popcorn you get when you go to the Castro Theater oh yeah Castro Theater this is a cool theater It's a, I love that theater it's like great to go they see they have movies. shitty popcorn really shitty popcorn if you know anything about San Francisco like it's... not buttered not salted it just kind of tastes like someone's rubbing styrofoam on your teeth. Yeah. And so, yeah, I like being in the middle. I like doing popcorn every once in a while. I found myself recently, I, I like to get chips and... Um, Dips. Chips and dip. Like uh, nachos. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, which is weird. Because growing up, I was never a nacho person. I hated, like, cheese and all that stuff. They were nacho thing? <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I found myself doing that a lot recently where I like getting <laughs> nachos for movies. It's weird. And I like going, I like going in like the middle of the week, typically. Cause there will what... be some exceptions where I, I want to go see it like opening weekend just to get like the full audience experience sometimes. Like how you would see with Star Wars. if Yeah, exactly. Well, I feel it depends on what time of the day we go because we're going to go on... I'm flying to Cleveland on Monday, and so we're going to go, like, Tuesday, probably in the morning at some point. So, yeah, we probably won't get that, like, big audience, like, reaction to it. But I feel, I'll probably go see it again that week, either, like, the day after or before Christmas with, like, other people. So I might get that um, experience as well. I'm seeing it with Daniel. He made plans. Is Daniel coming back for Christmas? Yeah. How long is he? Do you know how long he's going to be back? No. Daniel's a good friend of ours. He was on school. the show. He was on the show. Twice. Go check those out. Yeah, he was on the show twice. More than anyone else. No one ever wants to return. Either. <laughs> <laughs> Please love us. Anyway. How do you feel about IMAX? Uh, oh, so I didn't see a Martian last. I saw Crimson Peak last. Mm, I yes. saw that in IMAX. Yeah. That was kind of a weird experience. Yeah. Like seeing... Cr- and what's the... Okay. So I've got a, I've got an actual question here. There's the real IMAX theaters that are fucking like weird, crazy... Like the Metreon one? Or does yeah. The- like, so I, I don't know where, the, where that one's at. I think it's the Metreon. But then you have like yeah. your Daily City ones where it's just a really big theater. Is that not IMAX? No. Isn't that XD or something? That is XD. I really like XD. Huh. I think it's a way better picture quality, and the sound is literally like a 360-degree like sound. That's crazy. Yeah. I went to go see Straight Outta Compton in XD. That sounds awesome. And that was fucking cool. To me, IMAX, it needs to be like a certain movie to see in an IMAX theater, like yeah. Pacific Rim. Yeah. Like, it's got to be like those crazy big action movies that you see that in. Yeah. It's just weird to like think that. Or like a Disney movie is awesome in IMAX. Mm. Because then it's like, like Lion King in IMAX sounds amazing. Mm. You have Mm. to admit. It's just weird to think because I remember my first experience with IMAX. uh, We have like a science museum in Cleveland. And we went on a field trip when I was like really little. And we like watched like sort of this uh, space documentary. And like the crazy IMAX, and that's what I thought IMAX was meant for was like weird. Yeah. Like, that's like my first experience. So I always just associated IMAX being like this weird like event thing that you would go to every once in a while. I never thought it would be integrated to see movies. Yeah. And then like the first time I ever saw like, I never want to go see this, but the first time I was like, oh, I guess those could be used for movies, but I don't understand the appeal of it was when Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban came out, they did a special screening at like our Cleveland's like IMAX theater. That doesn't really And that doesn't to. sound pleasant. Like I don't I don't understand the appeal of IMAX. Like people are saying like Star Wars The Force Awakens was filmed all in IMAX. 
so it'll probably like look better on IMAX or whatever. That, that does sound pretty awesome. That I still just don't understand like the appeal of that. I I don't get as motion sickness as I do in like 3D. I fucking hate 3D. I I, I can't watch 3D because <laughs> I can't follow motion. Christopher Nolan nailed it on the head when he says when you put 3D into your movie, it distracts people from like what's going on in the story. Yeah. Like it's all like you're making your movie just about visuals, and that's fine for some movies. That's completely fine. Avatar, do that. That's yeah. great. Avatar's 3D was great because it wasn't like it's not like the story was doing it any good. Yeah, Avatar is not a good movie but it's a great movie for imax mm. yeah i didn't see that shit in imax i didn't see it in imax or 3d i saw it in imax i and saw it in it regular was, 2d i saw it on imax i thought it was amazing then i watched it again and i'm like this sucks yeah yeah i don't like avatar whatsoever i think the movie sucks um yeah it's like the um, why i wanted to ask this because i you know i spent a lot of my childhood in movie theaters because my dad would take me to see a bunch of movies my grandpa would take me to see a bunch of movies so i was just like wondering like, uh, if you had any rituals and of uh, seeing movies. But then also, how do you... Do you think that the movie theater scene is dying out in a way? Because I see more and more people, like, talking about, man, if, like, this movie was day one digital, like, I would totally watch it and all of this stuff. And you see less, like... I think, like, last week was a really bad week for movies where I think the highest grossing movie was still The Martian, but it was at, like, $15 million. Yeah. And that's, like, really low. Like, nothing opened that week. It was, like... Well, no, things opened that week. Oh, they all they bombed. they did. They all bombed. Gem. It was, yeah, Gem and the Holograms and, like, two other things, and they all fucking bombed. Oh, The Last Winter, Witch Hunter with uh, Vin Diesel. Bombed. Bombs. I have to show you this review of like Gem. I don't even, I don't even think Gem made it into the top ten like no one fucking saw that dude movie. Gem there's a review I have to show you of Gem because mm. it's hysterical how bad that movie is <laughs> that's why I wanted to find see we should try to it with me. we should try to watch that at one point just to, as a possibility for it being the worst movie of 2015 for our awards oh the person who said it said it was so bad it's amazing and you have to go watch it so it's almost like. Uh, Fuck. Tommy was so. Yeah. The Room. There you go. It's hysterical. But, like... Yeah, that movie looks fucking awful. But it's, like, it's the same thing that's, like... Movie theaters are at, are going the same way of GameStop. Mm. They're still there. People are still going to them. Mm. But it's, like... People are so... Like, people like the digital realm of this kind of thing. Yeah. And so it's, like... If you give them the option between, like, seeing it... Where you're in a big crowd of people. Yeah. And people could be yelling. Yeah, exactly. All the time. Like, and there's always that possibility of a bad theater experience. I remember when we were the cause of a bad theater experience. I don't know if you were with us. When we all went to go see Argo. I was not there, but I heard oh that everyone was racist. No, it was a good friend Daniel who was racist. Anytime that there's a shot in the Middle East and they're playing <laughs> like Middle Eastern music, he'd always be like, uh and like I was, I was so fucking embarrassed. Still, the best part of that movie was sixty nine days later. <laughs> the worst theater experience I ever had was this happened to me twice. Mm. The first one was when I saw that movie, The Last Mimsy, that only I remember. <laughs> I remember that movie. Didn't that have Rain Wilson? Probably. I remember literally nothing about it except I was like, "What the hell did I just watch? <laughs> this is weird. I'm scared." And the other time it happened was during Iron Man two. Mm. Both these movies, the footage burned. Oh, wow. That's crazy. I've never heard of that. Yeah. Last Mimsy, I literally saw the footage just go... That's fucking awesome. On screen, and I was like, this movie got weird. (laughs) And during Iron Man 2, it stopped for 15 straight minutes, Yeah, yeah, and then they didn't reset it. Dicks. I remember... It's okay, because Iron Man 2 sucked. My mom had a really bad experience. I forget what movie she was seeing. It was like a good movie, too. Last Mimsy? <laughs> My mom was seeing The Last Mimsy, and at one point, like 15 minutes into the movie, the audio desynced with the video oh. like really badly oh no and then like my mom like fucking freaked out and like started like she ran out of the theater and was like you guys gotta fix this movie and that is really bad though that's like something yeah, that's embarrassing not even we have that usually usually um i think the best theater 
and Sir Donald Zabriskie, my grandfather, could agree with me. The best theater to see a movie in is the world-famous Alameda Theater. Hmm. Because it's not really world-famous. My grandpa just likes to say that. Because, you know. Peep. Where's um, Alameda again? Alameda is in uh, East Bay. Ah. Yeah, I used to live there. Yes, you did. Uh, I just recalled that. I don't know why, but I thought I was in Ohio. <laughs> Alameda Theater in the they've West. They've got like their own little like cartoon characters that introduce the movie, and it's like really dumb, it's, like popcorn, like sorry, major popcorn, or just fucking... like the whole "Let's all go to the lobby." Sort of like that. It's like their own version, and they're all like sort of silly and whatnot. The Nazis are all Mexican, sort of racist, wow. but whatever. Uh, it was but... the fifties. <laughs> anyway, if you get to see the movie in the main theater. And that was the theater I got to Vinny and I saw um, Deathly Hallows Part 2 in. And so I, I hold that close to my heart because that was like the place where, you know, that was over for me. But anyway, if you go to the main theater, it's like the big theater, the classical theater that Alameda Theater is known for. Like they've added on, there's like new theaters and they're smaller. But this main theater is huge. And we went to go see like a couple movies there when I lived there. We saw like uh, Transformers. We saw. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we saw Avengers there. Nice. Um, yeah, a couple of different things. <laughs> but the cool thing about this, it's got this stage, and there are live performances before. Uh, like on Friday and Saturday nights, there are live performances before the movie. So it's like the Castro Theater. It's sort of like the Castro, but the Castro Theater is different because it's always the guy in the organ, right? And so he'll play his thing, and then he like his organ goes down, and he disappears. <laughs> He's fun, but it's always different things. Like uh, when we went to go see the Avengers, it was this really bad stand-up comic. Good. Like really bad. Like he was being offensive just for the sake of being offensive. Oh, one of those. And it was, and it wasn't like. Like, this was during the time, like, where my friend Alex Lou and I, we, we liked being, like, fucked up and offensive, like, just for the sake of it. And like, even, like, uh, even us were just, like, this is all in bad taste. This is all in very bad taste. And it was all these kids and families in the audience, and he was getting, like, really raunchy. And it was just like, dude, you need to stop. Like, how tasteless. Like, I was dating this Muslim girl the other day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um... The best like live performance we saw during, before a movie was when we went to go see Transformers. Two. Or oh God, three. I'm so, two's the worst. So yeah, two made no fucking sense. I think it was two, and yeah, because two was the one with the wait, two racist what, robots. What, what year did two come out? I want to say two thousand nine ish. No, that wasn't it. I, it. It must have been Transformers three. We went to go see it. Dark of the Moon. And the performance before it was this magician. <laughs> and it was fucking best because it was all these cheesy little things, but he just like owned up to it. And it was awesome. It was I'm really Michael cool. Bay. I'll make your money disappear. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and it, it, it sucks to see like um, like a, some theaters have been closing down. Like not what I've seen in like our area, but like friends – that I've met through like online and stuff have like seen theaters closing down. There's all those old theaters that were in the mission that were really cool, but those yeah. are all gone. Yeah. Um, and like they're not using them for anything. So I think the argument with like the whole digital day one is like, yeah, you don't have to like be in a crowd. You don't have the chance of like having a really terrible audience, having a crying child and all that stuff. But I feel like there are some movies that are made to be experienced in that big theater. Like Pacific Rim. Like Pacific or Rim. Or Avatar. Or Mad Max Fury Road, to be honest. Like, yeah. Watching that movie again, like, on our TV, like, it was still fun. It was so awesome. But, like, I did not have that same, like, holy fuck experience, you yeah. know? So. Like, I think we it, talked it, it's about It's sort of before. like the, yeah, we have. And it's sort of like when, it's like the comparison of, like, I'd rather have all of my music on my iPhone than, like, getting records and having you listen to, like, a record and experiencing yeah. that, you know? Because, like, how they used to record it, we, they don't do it as much anymore, but how people used to record uh, music back in the day was how good did it sound in your car? And they would, like, record, put, like, the tape in the car, listen to it, and be like, oh, this needs to change and all this stuff. It didn't matter, like, what any other, like... Um, any other speaker sounded like it was all about the car and that's like sort of the same that's like uh the comparison i'm trying to make when it comes to like movies it's like they're making like movies to see like how people can experience them in the theater not in your living room yeah you know so 
I understand the argument of like day one digital will be awesome and all that stuff, but I really feel like you lose a lot when you don't experience it in a theater. To me, I think it should be like they sh- it should keep theaters just for like the certain movies that you need to see in a theater. It's like I can take I I will buy any of my music like digitally. Yeah. But the only genre that I own is jazz. Mm. Because jazz just <laughs> No, jazz is all like. Tss, 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 Shut tss, up! Tss, tss. <laughs> Stop forever. It, it, it's like that if you only watch Monsters Inc. once. But it's, <laughs> but it's like jazz sounds wrong if you're like listening to it on like a CD, or like on a computer. Mm, yeah, it only sounds right when it. I sound really pretentious right now. But it, it, there, it I only sounds it, right when you have that vinyl. Exactly, but and like that's the point. It's not like a pretension sort of thing. Is you don't get the. I feel like the life and like the the soul yeah. in that. You know, I t- I completely understand it. I don't think you're being pretentious. I think we're just observing how things are being so condensed into these like smaller platforms, and that's not the right way to do that. You know. I don't know. It's just like some some thought, some food for thought, I guess. Some food for thought. I don't know. Do you have anything more to add to this topic? Uh, I just want to leave this here. I don't know. It's just like yeah, there are certain movies like that I would definitely rather see in a theater, like mm-hmm. Star Wars. Yeah, exactly. Like Star Wars, the first three, like the, the first those, trilogy, the, like the original trilogy. You can still watch it because movie theaters back then were about the size of my TV. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually like uh, like small black box theaters like they have at Kabuki. I remember when we went yeah. to go see uh, um, The Men Who Stare Goats in like a fucking five row theater with like that big sort of like basically just big plasma screen. Yeah. It was fucking awesome. Yeah. M- my mom and I, whenever we go see movies, we do it at the Embarcadero Theater. Isn't a Barcadero theater? Yeah, it's like in that weird mall that you never see anyone in. There's a mall in the Embarcadero? Yeah. It's like right it's like it's in a weird place. Huh. But it's like they always have like they always have like not the big action movies because they're like small theaters. So my mom and I go there to see like movies like that's where we saw Beasts of the Southern Wild. Mm. And uh I forget if I saw if I saw the theory of everything with her or not, mm. uh, that's where we saw Inside Lorraine Davis, also known as the best Bob Dylan movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and like I, I like the, I like having like the small little pretentious theaters because they every once in a while they have cool films. The one near Stonestown was the only fucking theater in the whole city that was playing Birdman. Yeah, and that was cool until I saw it at uh, Kabuki. Yeah, before, like, when it first originally came out, like, no one gave a fuck about it. Until so, like, everyone was like, holy shit, this is the best movie ever. Exactly. And it fucking what? is. Birdman's such a good movie. Fuck Boy's Life. <laughs> you mean that movie you made? Oh, yeah. You mean fuck that Boyhood. Movie. Fuck Boy's Life and fuck Boyhood. <laughs> that was a Freudian slip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that movie I made was terrible. Yeah. It was a really bad script. Probably shouldn't have chosen that one. You, that's a movie you would not want to see in the big theaters. <laughs> yeah, what you made. <laughs> yeah. And we premiered it at a big theater. <laughs> yeah. Next Anyways, topic. Yeah, anyway, yeah, I think that's where we would leave it off. It was just like something I've been thinking about uh, a lot lately. Because that was a lot of, of my childhood was like going to movies, seeing them in movie theaters. And just, you know, toying with the thought of maybe those not being as relevant. I don't think they'll ever fully go away. Like you said, like... Maybe at one point, movie theaters are only going to be for, like, the big movies, like, big summer blockbuster sort of things. And then everything else is day one digital, and they still make, like, their money yeah. off of that. So I, I feel like we might get to that point. I don't know if movie theaters will ever really go away. It's not as as uh, vital as it was, like, say, 10 to 20 years ago. When, like, <clears throat> we didn't have Netflix we didn't exactly. even have TiVo. <clears throat> exactly. And, you know, I also think it's also, just because we're not doing it as well, is also just the market speaking of, there aren't a lot of really good movies that come out every year, you know? 
People yeah. are starting to realize, you know, like Transformers sort of sucks. Even though Transformers Four was like the best selling movie of all of those, really which is fucking weird. I don't know why Transformers com- like repeatedly does so well. I don't know. The first movie is the only one that was slightly decent. Yeah, it was like, okay, this is dumb, but this is you know, dumb, the- but it's like that's Optimus Prime on a giant screen, and so this so is kind cool. of awesome. Yeah, and then Transformers Two is just awful. <laughs> The only way to bring him back is with this weird shard, but it, it 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 broke. But then when we bring it to Optimus Prime, it works again. What the fuck happened in that movie? And then and then Shia LaBeouf. I love how you're every, in Robot Heaven. I love how every single trailer for Transformers ends with Shia LaBeouf yelling Optimus. Hey, every single one without fail. Hey Shia, what's your favorite kind of tuna? Bumblebee. <laughs> So that was today's topic of talking shit. I just wanted to talk about movie theaters and whatnot. What do you think about movie theaters? If you think they're ever going to die away, you can leave your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think of our thoughts? You can also leave that there. If you liked what we had to say, like that like button, share with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more episodes of Talking Shit. If you like what we do and you want to be part of the show, you can always suggest topics. You can leave those there in the comments below. Type that on your keyboard and stuff you can always tweet them at us you can always email that uh, us all that information is in the information uh, in the fucking description below you can follow us on twitter collectively at beta zone gamers to keep up with bzg stuff and then you can find me at banandler song you can find henry at henrysaurus and you can find our tech guy who helps us with all of this great stuff at seven morse but the o in morse is a zero you can check in the description below below I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I just don't. Egg! (laughs) So thank you so much for watching this episode of Talking Shit. And until next time, have a great day full of shit talking and... Bumblebee! Bumblebee!